Bali Sally on the outskirts of Colrain houses close on 3,000 people. Twice the national average are on the dole, making it a hard place to see out the biggest economic storm in a generation. This is the story of a year on the estate. Jimmy's just received news about a job he'd applied for. My caretaker's probably saw it, you see, I'm successful. Right. Thank you for your recent application for both. I'm pleased to inform you that you've been shortlisted oh my for goodness. an interview. Oh my goodness. What the hell? Are you sure you hadn't even got, got it? No. Or wouldn't even get an interview? The boys in my work were talking about it and they says they never bored to apply for it. I mean, there's probably hundreds in for that. <laughs> there you go. I don't expect that there coming through the letterbox. Jimmy's desperate for a new job. He works nights at a local factory and Denise works during the day, so their time together is precious. I always used to take Lauren to bed and read her stories and all before I you know got the night job and tucked her in, you know, and I suppose I haven't really done that now. Even Dylan, I don't think I've never really tucked Dylan really into bed, you know, since because he was only a I was telling him it was only a bit whenever I got that job, you know. A day job would ease the strain on family life. Ah. So what that, if I do get a day job, that'd be good, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah! to be able to read you stories at night again. Yes! Yeah. Yeah. That's yep, so good. Oh, yeah. 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 it's really good that you even got, got that, you know, well, got well, I got answered the yeah. I got squashed. Did you get squashed, did you, huh? <laughs> yeah. See, but that would that would, that would be good if I did. Perfect. I'd get it, if wouldn't you it, you know, it. So. Yeah. Hopefully there is a job there, you know, it's not one of these where it would be, you know, the interview and the job's really bloody gone. Jordan! Jordan, don't jump! Looking after five kids is a full-time job for single mum Louise. I'm ready to be She's unearthed an old school report from when her 15-year-old daughter Kellyanne was a model student. P1, 100% attendance. My favourite book is S Club 7. <laughs> My favourite colour is purple. <laughs> What I am good at. My writing's quite good at <laughs> My favourite thing is tea. Oh fuck, was it any wonder I was a fat wee in? Food, Chinese. Mm -hmm. Where am I going? That's hairspray for you, but I'm just far hat wearing myself now. This year, Kellyanne has found it tough getting motivated for school. But she did manage to make it in for an English exam. It wasn't as hard as what I thought it was going to be. You had your brochure and you had to read that, so it wasn't too hard. Like, I knew what to do. It was easy enough. Next year, I'd rather just go into school and do what I have to do and get it over and done with, because at least then I know I'm finished. I really don't want to, but I'm going to have to. So my mum doesn't get in shit. Like, be really, like, really much baller, like, because she was, like, she's as close to getting and so much baller just because I won't go to school. Oh, what, Ryan? Oh, look at your bloody soaking. Get down. Get there. Stand there and get them off. Oh, my God. I'll get you pants. Pants is over here. My man's not old, but she's you know, not young, but I wouldn't want to be her age and sitting in the house with like on the door and like a crowd away and trying me. I don't want to be that type of woman. I just want to be like out with a job and doing something with my life. Maybe I've just got the brains sometimes.
this is we you see this. My god, they're flying all over the place. <laughs> look, look. You see them, they're staying together. I call the two of them Bonnie and Clyde. Because they're two gangsters. You let them out and they run all over the place. That they're starting to move now. Martin's life is a daily battle with drink. Two weeks sober and he's fallen off the wagon once again. I'm not a depressed kind of person. I just like laughing. Because I was sad for a lot of years of my life, you know. And that's the way I look at it, you know. I try just be happy, go lucky. I take each day at him, you know. I moved this stuff over here because, for a change, because I was just sitting staring out the window up at one tree and I was getting bored, you know, so I changed my direction. Look, there they go, there they go. Ah, it's better sooner now, aren't I? I've got four trees to look at now. <laughs> Bare essentials just. Try not to get too much crap. Kyle's been unemployed for three years. With his dole check in, he's off to do the weekly shop. Hey, yeah, budget money. I do. It's crap. Bad money. I spend it. Kyle's just moved out of his mum and dad's. Managing his money for the first time is a steep learning curve. No, 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 no. I kept my bank card and. She gave me it every time I was going shopping, just. Cause she knows I would just go and lift money, buy a drink, or do something stupid. You kind of have to grow up when you get your own place, and you have to sort of start managing your bills. You have to learn somehow. Mum Josie keeps him right. Nah, she's here. I like. I'll get a couple of these. Ugh. We were getting done for squirting. Kyle has a baby daughter from a previous relationship. Even in tight times, he puts something into the trolley for her. Any baby wipes? No. I've got half a packet. Hello, here. Have a last in my pocket. You can go through. To see if it got everything. Half an hour later, he's giving me the list. I tried to remember everything there anyway off my head, but. Any black bags? <laughs> They're at the very bottom of the eye. Yeah. Well, bare essentials, just. Pizzas, ice lollies, razor blades. But there's still one aisle Kyle just can't resist. Say no. Say no. You may get that. Hmm? You may get that. Yeah, I'm not. You may. I'm not. What are you getting that for? 16 pounds. Yeah, you take it and get it. I'll not get it right, ID. What are you drinking that? I don't mean that. Between me and Annie, I'll shake it in with me. Yeah. I'm mad. Oh, that's it. Might as well, it's down in fresh again. I say, holy shit, it's down for 13 pounds, some but it's not. The estate is badly in need of a place for young people to go. With funds for amenities scarce, some parents have taken matters into their own hands. Push you, them. Push. Like that, eh? I don't even know why I'm looking, I can't even read. <laughs> I can't even read, like. <clears throat> Noel is one of the people transforming this disused council house into a drop-in centre. <laughs> I'm 
between the ages, I think, of 14 and, and probably, well, even go to 20, like. Mm-hmm. Apart from that, share bonds on No, there's nothing for them, like, so we're going to try and get somewhere for them. Yeah, it's nothing really to do, and if you don't have anything to do, either way, you get a cat under or something like that there, just to get a chase. Uh, you get a shelf? Yeah. Because you get a shelf? There's nothing really to do in here. You've got a shelf? This is my desk. <laughs> <laughs> this is the main hub. <laughs> <laughs> now, right, yeah, this is the main hub. I don't even know myself. Why I have a desk? Emma's alcohol support work is government funded. She just heard her job could go. In a month's time, she too could be on the dole. You kind of can't plan things at the minute, so you just have to take one day as it comes and see what people need to do and that kind of thing. But, oh well, it'll be over to the other side of the town in a wee while. (coughs) Emma now has to break the news to Martin. There might not be enough money to extend it, you see, so... Them people will be stupid if they let you go. They don't understand. Like, all these alcoholics, they don't trust you. You look after them, you know what I mean? And if they let you go, them alcoholics are going to get let down and they're going to fall apart. They'll all end up in hospitals and then all Emma's work won't be on. Without Emma, you know I mean? there'll be no alcohol support worker on the estate. You know, it's, it's you not just me that's losing a job, wish. they're losing support. See, all you need is a laptop, you can say You give me hope, you know, I'll feel lonely, I'll feel lost. You know, because I know Emma. Emma, I can talk to her about anything, you know. The government are wrong. Emma's doing a job to help alcoholics. So when I put it, let's record her at full. Oh, thanks, Martin. <laughs> Noel has now been out of work for 10 years. His wife Mandy is happy the drop-in centre has given him a new lease of life. Way past this garden board hanging off, I have to get nailed. But at home, some jobs still remain half done. See, his idea was he was going to do an ensuite, and then we decided, no, we'll just use this as a cupboard. So, um, Will starts the jobs and then doesn't get them finished. I just let him be. And he only gets more frustrated. You know, so. How are you happy like flitting away, no? Oh, I just sound bell. <laughs> <laughs> That's a chunk of it. I have been waiting for the snake to come up with a bugger. <laughs> His talents is wasted, you know, he's a good joiner. Very good joiner. You look for a job, Mandy? Hmm. I have one. You need to look for a job. I want to take him to work. You do? Oh, I'm buying jobs. No jobs on the newsletter. The mere day is. Jimmy's hopes of a community centre job interview have been dealt a blow. Hello, uh, I got a letter there on Friday to say that I had been shortlisted for, for the carers taker job in Bally Sally. So that, and yesterday I got another letter, they say that the criteria of it had been changed. The goalposts have indeed been moved. He's now been told he needs GCSE maths and English to be eligible. Okay. That'll do. Okay, I'll do right, right, bye, right. Hello, she says she was sorry, she says, don't let it put you off, she says, never know another. 
an hour job like that might come up, but she says they had, they says they had to go like that there because there was hundreds hand for it. That's why they want for it. But for the GSEs, she says I would have had I took something over to equivalent that there, but which I I haven't got. It's just just a wee bit got it, you know, like getting on the short list and then turn around and then change and telling you that you had to bring GSEs, you know, maths and English way, you know, like so. There's more to life and jobs all around, so. Back the drawing board now, so just keep just keep looking, you know. For just keep can keep looking, see if any other jobs co comes up, you know, so Kyle's finding it hard to fill his day now that he's living on his own and on the dole. Now I'm kind of good. My life consists of being in here during the week, Michelle. Not much to do. Oh, so that always leads to two or three days drinking. Ah, sometimes you worry about it, like sometimes you think you have no life. But half the shit that happens through the drink, so it's maybe a bit of time I get off the room. Things settle down with somebody. Maybe another kid or something. Help them settle me down. Yeah, it was my daughter that sorted me a couple of years ago. When I read depression and stuff. I sorted myself out for her. I saw a farm years ago and I got tattoos to cover them all so Chucky, the doll because I used to sell farm knife and stuff he thought it would be funny to put a Chucky on it with a knife so I let him tear away and I was kind of like evil clowns and stuff too so stuck on me for life so you have to get used to it Since Kyle moved out, Rab's been worrying his son won't cope on his own. That he might fall back into his old ways. Two and a half years fighting with him, working with him because of drugs. The way that fella's went from working from Monday to Saturday, and then they end up putting, putting a rope around his neck. And the, the rope was burned actually an inch in his neck, where it was a nylon rope he had hung from the rafters in my garage. You know, it wasn't a very nice thing to see your own son hanging to the neck. He's tried to commit suicide nine times after that, cutting his arm, being out of his arms, nine slashes in his arms, and now I say the big, big one on his leg. One minute he'd be okay, and the next minute he'd just go in and lift the, the knife out of the, the door and he'd just cut himself. And when you see that there, it's, it's hard to take in, you know, just, I wouldn't like to do it again. Up the minute, he seems to be coping all right, but it's always in the back of your mind, you're worrying about him, you don't know what, what he's going to do or what he's at at night. You don't know what tomorrow brings. Emma's fears have been confirmed. With no sign of new funding, she's just received a month's notice. Oh look, there's a rain. Oh, must be just the wee shower. Her clients rely on her as much as ever. I haven't even been out the door in about a week and a half. Well, not really, just in time. Your mum should be in today, though, shouldn't it? Uh, it should be, I'm not sure. I keep on forgetting when it's coming or what. Can you check yeah. it down in the post office, or do you have to go to the uh -huh. bank? But I don't like going out the door until I'm ready. You just have to get back in the way of it. Mm -hmm. The past week and a half I've just been sitting, 
I don't know what the hell's wrong. Oh, this is desperate. I don't know what to do about it. There's nothing that can stop me. Even as I focus no cut good. down gradually, Martin. You know, even a glass left. Oh, yeah, man. All I'm doing is smoking my brains out and drinking my coffee. It's approaching the end of the school year and Kellyanne is taking stock. Having missed most of last term, she's come to a decision. I've missed like most of this year, so they'll probably like, keep me back the year. Which I hope they don't, because fuck will go out my head, but Jesus Christ. Hope they don't. That's why I think next year I'm just going to go and like get it over and done with. You know, instead of going through all the crap that I went through this year. You know, like with meetings and you know, all that there. So I think next year I'm just going to start and go and try and, you know, do good at my GCSEs. We'll try, like. I said to my mum that whenever I leave school to go to tech and like do like catering or whatever and then leave tech and then like go for a job and like save up money and then like buy my own restaurant or something that's what I want to do but I know it won't happen but that's what I want to do I'm just ringing out to check about this fund and just if you have any notion at all about whether it'll be continued. You can't say, yeah, I know, yeah. It's just I received my month's notice, you know, that kind of thing, so. Yeah, okay, thank you now, bye, bye. <laughs> I still don't know, really, so. Just have to stay positive, I think, no use is good news. The drop-in centre is coming together. Noel's joinery skills are a godsend. Everything's wrong. No, oh, that's what I do for a living, I. I don't do it now, really. Just do it for an odd one. I would do bits and pieces for you, know. I haven't the qualifications at half the building sites you need, you know. All the old uh, health and safety crap, like, I'm old school. I mean, I served my time just when there were no none of that old health and safety stuff, you know. I left school and I had no qualifications. None at all. You don't need to read or write to hang a door like. You just need to know how to hang it. Ah, it's harder now. You had to do your education now. Or I'm going to close you out a minute. One down. Emma's coming to the end of her month's notice. You know, they're going to do work as hard as they can to find a way to bring me back. She's preparing Martin for the worst. Does everybody know that you're leaving? Yeah, most of yeah. What they I have say? to ring around and make sure everybody knows tomorrow for death. Isn't what did they say? They're just wondering what's going to happen now, kind of thing. Probably not very happy with it. No, not really. That's crazy. And I have that why, why? You so you can... I don't understand. I don't understand why they're doing that. I don't think it's a good idea. I think the government are wrong. So she's doing a job for alcoholics, and alcohol is the thing that's killing people. 
so I think that there's wrong. Uh, what what do you call it? Bonnie. Say hello to Bonnie. 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 Here. here. Look at Bobby, Bonnie. come on. I give him a wee piece of chocolate every so often, just here, just a wee here. treat, you know. Here, son. Bobby, here. Bobby, Bobby, come on. Bobby, here. Bobby, here. Bobby Lee. Hey. Where are you from? I was born in Castle, grew up in Ballymena, but then I was homeless nine years. I've been all over the country. I slept rough down south and everything. You don't look too bad, like. Oh, I'm doing all right. Well, I'm doing so-so, you know. I'm still an alcoholic. Are you not getting any help from the alcoholism? Well, I'm trying. I've got an alcoholic counsellor, but she's finished. They're sacking her. Everything's all been cut. Aye, right? the government are cutting. They're sacking her because, and she's doing a good job dealing with alcoholics. What's all them alcoholics going to do without her? Because they depend on her. There was a time when I was dependent on likes of diazepam and different things like that. So I can understand where the alcohol shift another drug. Alcoholism's a, a disease. Aye, that's it's, right. Which happens to Thank you for people. saying that. Thank you. Aye, but it is. I mean, Aye. I do know it. I'm not ready yet to go. I tried there. I was off it for a while. I think they're trying to escape. Oh. That's what it is. You don't want to face reality. No. As long as you don't do anybody else any harm. But I'm not sad or because I'm doing well for myself now. I've got, I've got my wee flat all tidied up and all that. My dog's the best looking one on my page. Here, look at that boy there, he's out jogging. He must be mad. No, he's not touching you, alright. Look at my dog, he's not even on drinking this happy. I want to know what, what's going on with him. I'm going to start eating dog food instead of ordinary food. Oh no, don't do that, no. Jesus. But I'm not going to die, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I think. Next time on The Estate. It's not the first time I've lost somebody I've been working with, but it's the first time in this job I have lost someone. I was a doctor and I his sister thought very badly and it flashed through my head. Could it be him? Say if I took somebody to their dinner and they said it was wrong, I'd just be like, fuck, I need it, you bastard. <laughs> I'm not a big word there, see? Well, the members of the Bob Bam Corden invite you to... Well, Corden, then. These little days are our memories when they're growing up. <laughs> And the estate continues next Monday at 10.35 here on BBC One Northern Ireland. Alcohol is the thing that's killing people. So I think that there's wrong. Uh, what, what do you call it? Bonnie. Say hello to Bonnie. 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 Here. here. Look at Bobby, Bonnie. come on. I give him a wee piece of chocolate every so often. Just, here, just a wee here. treat. You know? Here, Bobby, here. Bobby, Bobby, come on. Bobby, Bobby, here. Bobby, here. Bobby Lee. Here, hey. Where are you from? I was born in Ballycastle, grew up in Ballymena, but then I was homeless nine years. I've been all over the country. I slept rough down south and everything. You don't look too bad, like. Oh, I'm doing all right. Well, I'm doing so-so, you know. I'm still an alcoholic. Are you not getting any help from the alcoholism? Well, I'm trying, I've got an alcoholic counsellor, but she's finished. They're sacking her. Everything's all been cut. Aye, right? the government are cutting. They're sacking her because, and she's doing a good job dealing with alcoholics. What's all them alcoholics going to do without her? Because they depend on her. There was a time when I was dependent on likes of diazepam and different things like that. So I can understand where the alcohol shift another drug. Alcoholism's a, a disease. Aye, that's it's, right. Which happens to Thank you for people. saying that. Thank you. Aye, but it is. I mean, Aye. I do know it. I'm not ready here to go. I tried there. I was off it for a while. I think they're trying to escape. Oh.
That's what it is. You don't want to face reality. No. As long as you don't do anybody else any harm. But I'm not sad or anything. Because I'm doing well for myself now. I've got, I've got my wee flat all tidied up and all that. My dog's the best looking one on the beach. Here, look at that boy there. He's out jogging. He must be mad. No, he's not touching you. Right? Look at my dog. He's not even on drinking his happy. I want to know what, what's going on with him. I'm going to start eating dog food instead of ordinary food. Oh no, don't do that. No. Jesus. But I'm not going to die, don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I think. Next time on the estate. It's not the first time I've lost somebody I've been working with, but it's the first time in this job I have lost someone. I was a daughter and my sister thought very badly and it flashed through my head. Could it be him? Say if I took somebody to their dinner and they said it was wrong, I'd just be like, fuck, I need it, you bastard. <laughs> I still don't know, really. So, just have to stay positive, I think. No use is good news. The drop-in centre is coming together. Noel's joinery skills are a godsend. I hate this. And everything's wrong. No, that's what I do for a living now. I, I don't do it now, really. Just do it for an odd one I would do bits and pieces for, you know. I haven't the qualifications at half the building sites you need, you know. All the old uh, health and safety crap, like, I'm old school. I mean, I served my time just when there were no, none of that old health and safety stuff, you know. I left school and I had no qualifications, none at all. You don't need to read or write to hang a door like. You just need to know how to hang it. Ah, it's harder now. You had to do your education now. Or I'm going to close you out a minute. One down. Right. Emma's coming to the end of her month's notice. You know, they're going to do work as hard as they can to find a way to bring me back. She's preparing Martin for the worst. Does everybody know that you're leaving? Yeah, most of yeah. What they say? I have to ring around and make sure everybody knows tomorrow for death. Not what did they say? They're just wondering what's going to happen now, kind of thing. Probably not very happy, are No, not really. That's crazy. And I have that wait, wait. You so you can... I don't understand. Time. I don't understand why they're doing that. I don't think that's a good idea. I think the government are wrong. So she's doing a job for alcoholics, and alcohol is the thing that's killing people. So I think that they're wrong. What, what do they call him? Bonnie. Say hello to Bonnie. 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 Here. here. Bobby, here. come on. I give him a wee piece of chocolate every so often. Just here. just a wee here. treat. You know? Here, son. Bobby, here. Bobby, come on. Bobby, here. Bobby, here. Bobby Lee. Here, son. Hey. Where are you from? I was born in Ballycastle. I grew up in Ballymena, but then I was homeless nine years. I've been all over the country. How about go lucky? I take each day at 10. You know? I moved this stuff over here because, for a change, because I was just sitting staring out the window up at one tree and I was getting bored, you know, so I changed my direction. Look, there they go, there they go. Ah, it's better scenery, aren't it? I've got four trees to look at now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
shit not have money. I'll we'll have to just try and get bare essentials just. Try and not get too much crap. Kyle's been unemployed for three years. With his dole check in, he's off to do the weekly shop. Hey, yeah, budget money. I really do. It's crap. Bad money. I spend it. Kyle's just moved out of his mum and dad's. Managing his money for the first time is a steep learning curve. No, 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 no. I kept my bank card and she gave me it every time I was going shopping just. Cause she knows I would just go and lift money, buy a drink, or do something stupid. Like you kind of have to grow up when you get your own place and you have to sort of start managing your bills. You have to learn somehow. Mum Josie keeps him right. Nah, she's here, I like. I'll get a couple of these. Ugh. Kyle has a baby daughter from a previous relationship. Even in tight times, he puts something into the trolley for her. You need baby wipes? No. I've got half a packet. Hello, here, have a list in my pocket, you can go through to see if I've got everything. Half an hour later, he's giving me the list. I try to remember everything there anyway off my head, but... I need black bags. <laughs> They're at the very bottom of the aisle. Yeah. Oh, the bare essentials, just... Pizzas, ice lollies, razor blades. But there's still one aisle Kyle just can't resist. Say no. Say no. <coughs> you may get that. Hmm? You may get that. No, I'm not. You may. I'm not. And the neck. Well, it was a nylon rope. It hung from the rafters in my garage. You know, it wasn't a very nice thing to see your own son hanging by the neck. He's tried to commit suicide nine times after that, cutting his arm, being out of his arms, nine slashes in his arms, and now I say the big, big one on his leg. One minute he'd be okay, and the next minute he'd just go in and lift the, the knife out of the, the door and he'd just cut himself. And when you see that there, it's, it's hard to take in, you know, just, I wouldn't like to go through it again. Up the minute he seems to have coping all right. But it's always in the back of your mind, you're worrying about him, you don't know what he's going to do or what he's at at night. You don't know what tomorrow brings. Emma's fears have been confirmed. With no sign of new funding, she's just received a month's notice. I'll look there to rain, or it must be just the way shower. <laughs> her clients rely on her as much as ever. I haven't even been out the door in about a week and a half. Well, not really, just in time. Your mother should be in today, though, shouldn't it? I should be, I'm not sure. I keep on forgetting when it's coming or what. Can you yeah. check it down in the post office, or do you have to go to the uh -huh. bank? But I don't like going out the door until I'm ready. You just have to get back in the way of it. Mm -hmm. The past week and a half I've just been sitting. I don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> this is desperate. I don't know what to do about it. There's nothing that can stop me. Even as I've just no cut good. down gradually, Martin. You know, even my glass left. Oh, Emma. Oh, I'm doing smoking my brains out and drinking my coffee. It's approaching the end of the school year and Kellyanne is taking stock. 
Having missed most of last term, she's come to a decision. I've missed like most of this year, so they'll probably like, keep me back the year. Which I hope they don't, because fuck will go out my head, but Jesus Christ. There might not be enough money to extend it, you see, so. Them people will be stupid if they let you go. They don't understand. Like, all these alcoholics, they don't trust you. You look after them. You know what I mean? And if they let you go, them alcoholics are going to get let down. And they're going to fall apart. They'll all end up in the hospitals. And then all Emma's work won't mean none. Without Emma, you know I mean? there'll be no alcohol support worker on the estate. You know, it's, it's not just me that's losing a job, house. they're losing support. See, all you need is a you You give me hope. You know, I'll feel lonely, I'll feel lost. You know, because I know Emma. Emma, I can talk to her about anything. You know, the government are wrong. Emma's doing a job to help alcoholics. So when I put a lesser go, they're at full. Oh, thanks, Martin. <laughs> Noel has now been out of work for 10 years. His wife Mandy is happy the drop-in centre has given him a new lease of life. Way past the skirting board hanging off, I have to get nailed. But at home, some jobs still remain half done. See, his idea was he was going to do an ensuite, and then we decided, no, we'll just use this as a cupboard. So, um, he all starts the jobs and then doesn't get them finished. I just let him be. And the only gets more frustrated. You know, so. How are you happy like flitting away, no? Oh, I just sat in bed, huh? <laughs> That's a turn out. I haven't went for the snake to come up with a bubble. <laughs> I know that his talents is wasted, you know, he's a good joiner. Very good joiner. You look for a job, aren't you? I have one. You need to look for a job. I want to do work. You do? Oh, I'm buying the jobs. No jobs on the newsletter. The mere day is. Jimmy's hopes of a community centre job interview have been dealt a blow. Hello, uh, I got a letter there on Friday to say that I have been shortlisted for, for the carers taker job in Bally Sally. Look, look, you see them, they're staying together. I call the two of them Bonnie and Clyde, because they're two gangsters. You let them out and they run all over the place. Look, they're starting to move now. Martin's life is a daily battle with drink. Two weeks sober and he's fallen off the wagon once again. I'm not a depressed kind of person. I just like laughing. Because I was sad for a lot of years of my life, you know. And that's the way I look at it, you know. I'd rather just be happy, go lucky. I take each day at him, you know. I moved this stuff over here because, for a change, because I was just sitting staring out the window up at one tree and I was getting bored, you know, so I changed my direction. Look, there we go, there we go. Ah, it's better sooner now, I? I've got four trees to look at now. <laughs> Try and get bare essentials just. Try and not get too much crap. Kyle's been unemployed for three years. With his dole check in, he's off to do the weekly shop. Hey, budget money. Really? 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I suppose it. Kyle's just moved out of his mum and dad's. Managing his money for the first time is a steep learning curve. No, I kept my bank card and she gave me it every time I was going shopping just. Because she knows I would just go and lift money, buy a drink, or do something stupid. You kind of have to grow up when you get your own place and you have to sort of start managing your bills. You have to learn somehow. Mum Josie keeps him right. Nah, she's here, I like. I'll get a couple of these. Ugh. We have a getting done for squirting. Kyle has a baby daughter from a previous relationship. Even in tight times, he puts something into the trolley for her. You need baby wipes? No. We got half a packet. I know, here, have a list in my pocket, you can go through to see if you got everything. Half an hour later, he's giving me the list. I try to remember everything there anyway, off my head, but... He works nights at a local factory and Denise works during the day, so their time together is precious. I always used to take Lauren to bed and read her stories and all before I you know, got the night job and tucked her in, you know, and I suppose I haven't really done that now. Even Dylan, if I, don't, I think I've never really tucked Dylan really into bed, you know, since because he was only a... I was telling only a bit whenever I got that job, you know. A dead job would ease the strain on family life. Ah. So what that, if I do get a day job, that'd be good, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah! Means to be able to read you stories at night again. Yes! Yeah. That's yep, so I good. Know. I know. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's really good that you even got, got that big hit, you know. I'm getting into the I got squashed. Did you get squashed, did you, huh? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. That, would, that, would, that would be good if I did. Very perfect. I'd get it, wouldn't you know, so. yeah. Hopefully there is a job there, you know, it's not one of these where it would be, you know, the interview and the job's really bloody gone. Jordan! Jordan, don't jump! Looking after five kids is a full-time job for single mum Louise. Oh God. I'm ready to be there. She's unearthed an old school report from when her 15-year-old daughter Kellyanne was a model student. P1, 100% attendance. My favourite book is Ice Club 7. <laughs> My favourite colour is purple. <laughs> What I am good at. My writing's quite good at My favourite thing is teeth. Oh fuck, was it any wonder I was a fat wee in? Third Chinese. <laughs> Tatty. That's hairspray for you, but I'm just far hat wearing myself now. Me day. This year Kellyanne has found it tough getting motivated for school. But she did manage to make it in for an English exam. It wasn't as hard as what I thought it was going to be. You had your brochure and you had to read that, so it wasn't too hard. Like, I knew what to do. It was easy enough. Next year, I'd rather just go into school and do what I have to do and get it over and done with, because at least then I know I'm finished. I really don't want to, but I'm going to have to. So my mum doesn't get in shit. Like, really, like, really much bother, like, because she was, like, she's as close to getting... And do so much baller just because I won't go to school. What, Ryan? Oh, look at your bloody soaking. Get down. 